Prime Minister Kurti wanted political aspects of normalization first, while Serbia wants to start with the establishment of the association community before engaging on its obligations. And that's why we propose what we see as the only possible compromise today, a process that would allow these two run in parallel. One first, the other first, let's work in parallel. This is the best compromise that we could offer. And moving in implementation in parallel would ensure that the core principles, namely that you have to do something in order to get something, is fulfilled. And the European Union and the wider international community, including our American partners, see this as the only realistic way the implementation can work. Unfortunately, after quite a long meeting, Prime Minister Kurti was not ready to move forward and start a credible process towards establishing the association community. He insisted instead on formalizing de facto recognition as the first step. I have to say it, President Vujic accepted the European Union proposal for implementation of the agreement. He came with another proposal, but finally he accepted our proposal. And we tried hard, but unfortunately it was not possible to bridge the differences today. I also have to inform that uh, there were no, no progress on the escalation of tensions in the north of Kosovo. As a reminder, all 27 European Union member states, all them together, have asked in non-uncertain terms for concrete steps to resolve the current crisis. Today, we again urge both parties to take immediate action in the north of Kosovo to de-escalate the situation, to avoid any further destabilization and to enable new early local elections to take place immediately. We cannot sit and wait for the next crisis. This has to take place immediately in line with the request made by the European Union and the broader international community. Let's talk about the path to early elections. The early elections can, can go either through resignation of the mayors in the four Kosovo Serbs majority municipalities in the north of Kosovo, or through the collection of signatures of the Kosovo Serbs to recall the mayors. Either they resign, either there is a collection of signatures to recall them. Let me also clarify in this respect that the European Union sees resignation of the mayors who have been elected by only 3% of the population as the fastest and best way to enable an early elections. The other procedure, looking for signatures, is lengthy and uncertain. Kosovo Serbs are expected to show constructiveness and engage unconditionally in the electoral process. They have to participate, otherwise the full exercise will be meaningful. And I welcome the assurances I got today from President Fujik in this regard. 